everyone i hope that you are doing well yes it has been a while a long while but i am back you know god has been good he has been faithful he is good he is faithful and so today even as we have come let us just begin to just thank the lord let us just begin to give honor to the one who is worthy of it all the lord has been good the lord is good and he is faithful so let us just begin to magnify the king father we come before you king of glory we thank you so much for this opportunity and this privilege god to be able to come once again at your feet to fellowship with you and your people lord jesus i thank you for who you are for this we know that it is by your grace and your mercy the lord that we are here today we thank you O oh god for everything we thank you O oh god that you have awoken us up this morning this day O oh god that which belongs unto you your word reminds us O oh god in psalm 118 verses 24 that this is the day that the lord has made and i will rejoice and be glad in it O oh god and so father we thank you because today is a day of rejoicing as long as we have breath in our lungs O oh god that alone is a gift and so father lord we just want to say thank you even as we have come O oh god we repent O oh god of our sins according to your word oh god in psalm 51 we ask oh god that according to your feeling love oh god that father you have mercy upon us father we ask that you will breathe afresh upon this time and that you will speak to our hearts oh god and that you will do that which only you can do and in all things oh god may your name alone be glorified in jesus mighty name that we have access and pray with thanksgiving amen and amen and so like i mentioned it has been a while but um it has been for a good purpose you know sometimes before we know it like time just passes you know um days turn into months and months turn into years but what matters is that you know we don't stop running the race right we pick up and um, we just allow the Holy Spirit to just have his way in our lives and so today um, I'm going to be sharing with you guys about um, a topic that you know the Lord laid upon my spirit this morning and the topic is hope yes the word hope and as believers we know that we have hope and so today I'm going to be sharing a few Bible verses with you guys so that you will be encouraged that no matter what you're going through in this season of your life or even the months to come that you have hope right because you belong to Christ you have hope because you are a child of God and that which God has spoken in his word is sure his promises are sure they are permanent concerning us that though we may not see it and though it may seem like things have taken so long that we can still have hope and we have an assurance in our God that all things are going to work out together for our good and for his glory. And so today we are going to be looking at um, Bible verses regarding hope. And so I'm going to start with Jeremiah 29 verses 11. And we know as believers that we love this scripture. I mean, <laughs> if you ask anybody, what is your favorite scripture? Like, you will find that there's just maybe a group of people that will say Jeremiah 29 verse 11. And so, um, as we know, some people may not know. So Jeremiah 29 verse 11 reads, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future you know um i absolutely love this scripture it is very powerful it's an insurance that that god is in control right god has a plan for us you know and though that we may have our own plans of our own and everything that god's plans surpasses all but one thing i love is that it says for i know the plans i have for you 
So it's that assurance that this is what God has said in his word. But we have to get to that place of understanding that it is his plans and not our plans. You know, many times, yes, we may may be aware that God has a plan, but we try to go ahead of God. We try to do things the way that we think um, is best or how we think we know how to do it. But um, this scripture really requires us really trusting in God, right? Really leaning on him and resting in his promises, right? Understand that each and every day of our lives must be guided by the one who has a plan for us the one that has orchestrated all things we must be led by the spirit of the lord and so as believers we have hope we have a living hope in christ we have living hope that our existence is not by coincidence there is a purpose wrapped in it each and every day is a gift and even with that gift there is so much that god wants to unravel And so the next scripture that we are going to be looking at is Psalm 42, verses 11, which reads, Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. You know, um, I mean, there's just so much, honestly, to take away from this particular scripture. Because it's just that reminder that, you know, you may be in a situation where you're feeling down. You may be feeling hopeless, like, God, like, what is going on in my life? Why are things not, you know, working out? You see people around you and things are working out for them. And you may feel very, very down in your spirit. You may feel as though that God has forgotten you. But this is just that reminder of you to speak a life into your own life. Right. Many times we wait for people to, you know, um, speak life into our own lives. But this particular scripture is you speaking to your soul. Right. You, you know, questioning yourself like, you know, why are you disturbed? Why are you downcast? Right. Or rather, instead of being downcast, put your hope in God. Right. And praise him. You know, many times as believers when we're going through things, we don't really understand why we need to praise God, right? But it's in those moments when we are praising God, we are really understanding and we are placing our trust in God that, you know, even though I may not see how things are working out in everything, God, I choose to praise you. I choose to remain on the praise lane. And so um, I hope that you are encouraged by that. That no matter what you're going through in this particular season, just be reminded that God is with you. Choose to praise. Choose to praise. Choose to lean on the Lord. Choose to rejoice in God, your Savior. And so the next verse that we are going to be looking at is a very um, known scripture, just like Jeremiah 29 verse 11. And it is taken from Isaiah 40, verses 31, which reads, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Faint. And so for this, honestly, is for anyone that, you know, feel weak in their body, they feel weak. Um, that reminder that when we put our hope in the Lord, you know, that our strength is renewed right we do not renew our strength by our own power right but as scripture tells us even in matthew chapter 11 verses 28 through 30 what scripture tells us to come you know all those who are weary and in need of rest we should come and you know lay our burdens before the father you know this is in the same um manner that we are being reminded that you know come to god is that invitation that no matter where you are in your life, you can receive strength, renewal of strength that comes from above. Just like an eagle that soars on high, right? It is the Father that deposits, is the, is the Father that releases unto us the strength that we need for every given season. 
and so the final verse that i would like to share i mean there are so many verses um in regards to hope but the final one that i would like to share with you guys today is found in romans chapter 15 verses 13 and it reads may the god of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the holy spirit right it is god that can fill us right with the joy the peace and everything that his presence offers unto us and i love the second part of this particular scripture where it says so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the holy spirit right so it is the father that fills us up and so it is my prayer that as you go forth into your day and the months to come that you will put your hope in the lord you will put your trust in him you will seek him no matter what you're going through no matter what your present situation is looking like know that god is in control be still and know that he is god let the father be exalted in your situation Declare with your mouth that the Lord is my praise. The Lord reigns and believe in it. Stand firm in that which God has already spoken. Meditate on the word of God. Just like Joshua chapter 1 verses 8 reminds us. Right? Go back to scripture. Remember all that God has spoken over your life. Remember all that God has done for you. Because as believers, we have hope. We have hope in Christ alone. It may not seem like things are working out, but God is at work in your life. You may not always understand what the potter is doing, but you just have to remain on the clay. Like you have to allow him to do just what he needs to do. And at the end of it all, you will see it. Scripture has already told us that God has a plan for us. His plan doesn't change. It remains the same he's the only constant in our lives but we must remain in his presence we must hunger and thirst for him more and more and the more we spend time in his presence the more we seek him the more our hope in him even continues to grow like a flower more and more each and every day so i pray that you are encouraged i pray that you will receive strength and grace that which is sufficient to run this race with the one who loves you the one who has called you by name know that god is in control know that god is intentional about you he is faithful and surely that which he has spoken his promises concerning you will come to pass but remember to rejoice rejoice in hope Rejoice in the Lord and continue to seek Him each day as it unfolds unto you. And so let us just pray. And so Father, we thank you so much for this opportunity to come before you. We thank you, O God, for your word. We thank you so much that we can lean on you, O God. We thank you, O God, for the assurance that we have as we read your word, God. Father, I pray for anyone that, Lord, is feeling hopeless, may not understand what is going on in their lives, O God. But, Father, even as we have received your word today, we ask, O God, that we will find rest in you. We will put our hope in you. May we continue to journey with you, seeking your face more and more each day, God. Father, Lord, we thank you because we have a living hope, and that living hope is in you, Jesus. We thank you so much for everything. We thank you for the assurance that we have in you. We thank you, O God, that we can rest in you, O God. We thank you for that which you have spoken over our lives, O God. Father, Lord, we ask, O God, that you will help us to renew our minds, O God, as we spend more time in your presence, God. Help us to speak a life, O God, your word over our lives, O God that we will not give in to the tactics of the enemy, O God, and that which the enemy wants to, you know, speak over our lives. But Father, Lord, 
We thank you because you have come to give us abundant life, O God. You have come to refresh our souls, O God. You have come, O God, that we may also know you and that we may dwell in you. And so, Father Lord, we ask, O God, that you will help us each day to be intentional about you, intentional about spending time in your presence, God. We thank you, King of Glory. We thank you because you alone are our living hope. In Jesus' mighty name that we have asked this and prayed with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. So until next time, God bless you. Stay rooted in the Lord and always remember that Jesus loves you.